You'll get back to us. When? If Danny's not on board, it'll all fall apart. Yeah, I know, on top of it, all right? What? Uh, I want to see you. Well, I want to know what you think you're playing at, Hunter. You know what? So I just don't get it, that's what I'm saying. Well, the mass troubling you, is it? Didn't they teach you percentages at your school? No, I don't understand why you're trying to squeeze money out of the market, because it's peanuts to you. Well, maybe it ain't about the money. Maybe it's about reminding people who's in charge. But you're right. It is peanuts. So how about we raise the stakes, say 25% of takings. That's a clear quarter. What do you say? Shove it. 30%. Oh, you want to think very carefully about your next move, Alfie. Left to himself, these debts can mount up. And this time, you ain't got a wife I can take in lieu of payment. Get up! Martin Fowler might find it hard weighing veg with broken fingers, but I bet you find watching him try even harder. Don't do this, Andy. Don't do this all. Oh, that is just what Kat said. Show the man out, Eddie. Get off! Get off! See if there are more of those sherry glasses in store. We're running really low. Oh, well, I can tell Dorothy not to be so clumsy. She's the only one who ever uses them. Mm. Where's Dan? He's not here. Really? You won't mind if I look then? Oh, well, there ain't none in here. I have to tell Dorothy she's gonna have to use a wine glass. Means at the cash and carry. She'll be back any minute. Oh, it's all right. Uh, actually, it was you they wanted to see. You're right. Yes. It's just been a long day. Mm. That's funny, cos, um, Lucy's been, uh, moping about at my place. Look, dear, no slur on the inn and no disrespect to you, but, uh, how does she know that you're going to be around any longer than the others, hmm? Hmm. Right, children, see you later. Sorry. You can't help how you feel, babe. Can't you just keep being his girlfriend? It's been nice like that. Well, actually, me and your dad have decided to put me moving in on hold for a bit. Why? I didn't think it was fair if you were unhappy with the idea. It's not just your dad I'm moving in with, is it? Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm, I'm just tired. I've had a hard year. The last thing I wanted to, was to make somebody else's life miserable. Oh, you won't. I mean, I didn't want you to move in at first, because of what happened with Laura, Mel, my mum. I've changed my mind now. I have. Well, so are you sure? Yeah, I want you to. Should be good. <laughs> uh, well, Sam took us off. Up upstairs somewhere, and it was an emergency, like, so I thought I'd better man the pumps. I'm going to see what's the matter with her. That'll be 220. Chrissy was right. It's his guilt, too, and I'm going to make sure he knows it. Do you know, 17 years Kat had to wait before she made my father face what he did. I'm not going to wait that long. I want to watch his face when I tell him how much I hate him and I got rid of our baby. I don't think he'll care. Oh, he'll care, all right. Kids is where Den's art really beats. It might be a pub for you two, but it's not for him. Yeah, you're right about everything you say, especially the kids. But you're wrong if you think you can get him with this. He's moved on. What are you talking about? He's just told me he wants to have kids with me. That's how much your baby mattered. Pat. It's you, isn't it? The stalls. Well? What's happened to you, Andy? Oh, spare me the pop psychology, huh? Keep up the smart talk till you run out of words, but you're going to listen to what I've got to say. First Paul Truman, and now this. You never used to be so cruel. Things change. Well, they can change back, can't they? Pat, I sense the word redemption on the tip of your tongue again. Now, you need to know, if you actually say it out loud, I'm going to laugh. Fair warning, yeah? Only I really wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. Please, listen to me. If you ever had a grip, you're losing it. Who do you think you are? I don't want to see you go under. I mean, you and Johnny... Well, under Johnny? 
Oh, you should know all about that, shouldn't you? I mean, look at yourself! You're nothing! You're a painted old trollop no one wants, and you still think you can lecture me on how to run my life? Oh, because you've made such a rip-roaring success of yours, yeah. There's nothing left of you, is there? That Paul Truman. I'll get you gobshot if I owe you. You know, they say it's easier after the first one. I bet they're right. Mm -hmm. oh. And after a bit, I think I might even get to enjoy it. Here you go. That's your wages up to date. You can pick up your stuff on the way out. I stopped selling myself a long time ago. Danny! You can forget that job. I'd rather starve than help Johnny Allen, just so as you know. Well, wait a minute. Where's this coming from, eh? I don't owe that man anything. Not gratitude, nor loyalty, nothing. You and Jake want to live in his pockets, go ahead. I've got more self-respect. Yeah, you know, appearances can be very deceptive. This job, for example, it's bigger than I let on earlier. If it went wrong, it could put a serious dent in his plans. Nasty hole in his wallet and all. Go wrong how? Well, I ain't given it much thought up until now, but uh, I could if I had the right backing. Someone else who wanted to see the king toppled. Number one, Elvis is already dead. Two, I don't trust you. Don't have to. All you have to trust is how much I want to see Johnny Allen brought down. Like I said, go wrong how? Take the money and run has a nice ring to it. I ain't that bothered about money. I just want Johnny Allen to know that he can't control everything. Imagine how he'd look <clears throat> if he were double-crossed by his own errand boy. Sloppy, careless and very, very humiliated. Right, let's talk. So, you're talking about giving us three brand new cars? Why? A good night out ends with a cab ride home, right? And no offence if it's in one of those rust packets that you lot drive around. Well, it's not good for my business, is it? Oh, so what's in it for you? A percentage of the profits, to be mutually agreed. Call it a car tax. I'll, uh, let you lot talk about it among yourselves. Cheers. Tom. Hmm. There's got to be a catch, man. Why? Well, like he said, by helping us, he's helping himself. Who with you, Lockwood man? is a gangster. Just because you own a dark suit and not shook hands with Reggie Craig doesn't mean you're a gangland boss, Abby. Well, I say yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, it obviously doesn't matter what I think, does it? If you hate him so much, why don't you just help us out? Because all you think about is money. Yeah, because it's mine and I want it back. Well, I want back what he took from me too, but I can't have it, can I? I thought I was going to lose Dennis to Sharon. Den told me I should tell him I was pregnant. He said that after what he'd done to Dennis's mum, Dennis wouldn't abandon me. So I lied. But he was still thinking about Sharon. He didn't even want to touch me. And time was passing by, and I was scared about what would happen. And then... No. He said he'd tell Dennis if I didn't keep doing it. I don't really need to hear these details, Zoe. <laughs> she does. Then Dennis walked in on us in your bed. And so I lost him anyway. And then I lost the baby. And my self-respect went the first time I let Den. And now there's nothing left. So no amount of money is going to change how I feel, is it? No, I swear I didn't. Yeah, well, you do know, don't you, Pat? Yeah, except I don't work for him anymore. You can't let him win. Listen, darling, I've got nothing left to fight with, all right? There must be something you haven't tried. Yeah, there is. 
Ah, oh, glad to see you since Sensei last. Poor Alfie, can't decide he ate most, can you? Me for winning or you for being suspicious? Don't mind if I count it, do you? Oh, he says 30%. Yeah, well, that is 30%. Oh, yeah. Well, time of year, I suppose. Let's hope trade picks up, eh? For both our sakes. No, no, wait a minute. That, that's the end of it now, right? Well, says who? Eddie, there, there isn't going to be any more, right? Oh, say like you mean it, Alfie. Did you never want to sort of pay him back in kind? No. It wasn't what he did that kills me, it's that I let him. Why did you? You know what he's like. He twists and he turns things, so he makes you think you're the one with the problem. It drives you mad in the end. That's what happened to Ange, poor cow. I went to her grave today. I stood there staring at it. And I thought, there isn't room for both of us in there, sweetheart. I wonder if she realises the body next to hers isn't really his yet. Maybe it should be. We could always take out a contract on him. <laughs> I'm serious. Look, I'm not saying it's the answer, but I'm just wondering how I'd feel if I woke up tomorrow and he was dead. Well, I know how I'd feel. Cheated. After the things he's done, whatever his punishment is, I want to watch him have to live with it, the way that we've all had to. I'm going to find a way, even if it kills me. Well, I hope you've put that stool away properly. You'll have to check on it later. You don't think they're going to come back, do you? Well, who knows? Oh, Keith. I'm so sorry, Angel. What can you do? So, this small percent of the profits you wanted is a car tax. What do you have in mind? I was thinking 10%. Really? I was thinking five. Eight. Seven. <laughs> there you go. You find them parked in George Street by the garage. Patricia Harris. You know, that's not really your colour. Green. Dark emerald green. That's how I remember you. You had that dress. I had a lot of dresses. I know. I paid for most of them. Is Andy Hunter working for you? What do you mean by working? Whatever I think of you personally, if he is, keep him in check. Because he's not looking after the people he should be looking after. Pat. I, uh, I'm going to need more than that. The market. Well, that's him. I know you're meant to be standing back from all of this. But... I'll sort it out. You said, um, whatever I think of you personally. What do you mean by that, exactly? Husband's gone. Kid's gone. Never could hang on to anybody. Why is that, do you think? You were going down that path long before I met you. That's a matter of opinion. Be careful around Andy. <sighs> Did you know there are some places in the world where they tar and feather informers? Talk to me, because if you've got anything to say to me, say it to my face. I already did. I've already told you I don't know anything about this. And believe it or not, I have better things to do with my time than tell tales on my neighbours, even if they are a bunch of lazy scrounges. Oh, How only... dare you! You don't know the first thing about my Keith! No, but I know that my husband did more for this community than he ever will, and he's dead! Oh! You'll both be barred. Now shut up and get out. Come on, love. I want him to hurt so that it never, ever stops. But this is Dem we're talking about. There's nothing I could ever do that will make him feel that bad. He's not got a heart. Oh, yes, he has. And I know exactly how to make it bleed. <laughs> 